Good morning. How are you? Welcome to the studio at Two Girls Treasure. I'm Diane Pruitt and we are about to bling in here. So if you've been following this week, we are working with recycled paper products and Monday, Tuesday, we worked with our recycled brown paper and we made some travel journals, guest books, whatever you would like to use them for. We had a customer yesterday afternoon who suggested with a white pencil and a charcoal, these would make wonderful sketchbooks. So I'm gonna have to iron out some more paper and make some sketchbooks. Meanwhile, back at the farm, yesterday we started working on a box. A box of all things. I absolutely adore this decoupage paper from Decoupage Central. This is available in store in our big book of decoupage and on our website and we have more coming so stay tuned for those designs. Beautiful lace edging but we still even though I did the inside of the box we didn't finish the inside of the box and guess what? I emptied it so we have a whole other one because we still have two more Decoupage Central Bustier designs. These are so romantic and beautiful. And these little boxes will make lovely trinket boxes, gift ideas. You can put some candy in there and gift this to someone special and it will be a fantastic upcycled project. Let's do another one. I went and got some, I went and shopped the notions and fabric section and brought back some blingy things. So let's take a look at what we have and what we can do. I'm gonna set my phone out of the way, but I am gonna open it up so I can see you. Good morning, Brenna, I saw you come in. Thank you for being here. All right, I'm gonna turn my volume down, bing. I love how Facebook <laughs> ends the, the static picture on the weirdest facial expressions. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just make weird facial expressions. I love this bling ribbon right here. It has dots in it. And then I got this. I wanted small trimmings. Look how lovely that is. It is a nice deep Bordeaux color or burgundy or dark red with some gold accents. I love that, absolutely love that. This one, I love this because it's so boho. This one's for you, Becky, Becky. Look at that denim and bead combo. Look how beautiful that is. I love that, I really do. And this will make a lovely addition. I think we can make this one very elegant we can make this one very boho let's get started this morning i want to go with a little bit different color paper i don't know maybe i want this blue instead i love a green but i really love the ooh the blue really pops the blue really pops the green does too oh tough choices I'm ordering more business cards so we can make more. Today we're going green. Since we're going green, we're gonna go green, right? All right, let me show you how I set this up the first time and let's see if I can cut it right this time. I want the paper to roll over on this inside lip edge. So I'm gonna make sure I have enough to do that. Front to back and side to side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go down the length of the paper. I'm gonna fold this over. One of the things I noticed when I put the lid back on this box, you know, I wasn't worried about the paper. I really still am not, but it does make it nice and tight. So, got to be careful about how much paper we stack on that bottom edge because we don't want it to be hard to open because you you don't want your chocolates flying all over the place 
Nobody wants to waste chocolate like that. So I think I'm going to cut the paper a little bit different this time. Maybe, maybe this time I only cut what I need for each side and then just edge it. Let's see, let's see if I can make that work. So we'll just trim out, and, and I do have a paper cutter. It's at the front counter because I was using it yesterday to put save tags on our sale. It's our warehouse sale, y'all, our annual warehouse sale. We only do this once a year. We might have little bits here and there, but this sale only comes around one time. Today, we're going to stack some savings, and I'm going to get the discount codes straightened out time I get off this live. I worked on it last night, but yesterday's 30% savings will now be 30% plus 10. So if there was something you wanted yesterday... Today, you can save an additional 10% on your purchases now. As the stakes go up, the stakes go up. So, your purchase minimum is $60 today. But, with your $60 purchase, you can save 30% plus 10 that's not 40% off. Don't try to make the math work that way. And it's the there is a sale on almost everything in the store. Rethunk Junk Paint and Iron Orchid Designs are not on this sale. Salt Wash is not on this sale. However, your outdoor, your wind chimes, your china glassware, any of our home furnishings that are not out of the studio, mm -hmm, you know which ones those are. You've been watching. Save 30% plus 10. In store only. This is not an online opportunity, y'all. I brought in everything I could for this sale and we're not shipping it. I'm exhausted. So just a little trim in the corner and we're gonna fold that in. That'll give us a little nicer finish on the inside and we'll fold that back and we will Put our rethunk gunk decoupage medium here. Don't oversaturate it, but make sure you have enough. Come on down the inside. Make sure you hit that top edge too. There we go. You don't have to have a discount code to save any money. We'll take care of it all at the checkout. That's my job. Pray for Mel as she's traveling today. Pray for her family. It has been a lot this year, y'all, hasn't it? Can you believe we are almost at the end of July? Good morning, Becky! I'm going to boho this just for you. I don't know if you saw the beading. Becky sent me the most amazing image of an old armoire this morning. And my mind is reeling. I'm over here with what I planned to do, staying focused, trying to do the right things. And Becky sends me an image of a piece of furniture that I immediately immediately want to get the colors out to do. 
and I have a piece of furniture that that will work for. If it doesn't sell this weekend with our annual warehouse sale offers, then I may use it in the next week or two. We still have next week to go with our Make the Most Out of Summer specials for July. Next week, we are going to focus on textiles, t-shirts, jean jackets even, my jeans. Y'all, I have an amazing pair of jeans that I am getting ready to really dress up. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my iron right quick. I say that like quick was a real word. There we go. Look how pretty that green paper is. Now, I think I didn't get a corner all the way where I needed it. While it's still damp, I'm going to pull on it just a little bit. Get that bubble out of that corner. That worked. And now let's get the rest of this. I think we can use the short side this time. We can. We totally can. And I'm just laying the box down on it and creating a crease so I know exactly where my box edge is supposed to go. Make that sharp edge. I'm going to flip it over. Make a sharp edge here too. That just makes it easier to cut. My um, readers are not doing their job this morning. Might need to get some new, maybe. Who else? Yeah, I thought so. It's not just me, is it? Mm -mm. This is going to be so pretty. Oh, you know what I did? Uh, drat. I didn't measure it for the inside edge. Okay, do it again. A total do over. Down. Do I have enough room now? Nope. I cut it too short. About a quarter inch too short, so I'll have to use the long side, which is just fine. I have another sheet of this. Measure twice, cut once. That's such a rule. Did I follow it? Absolutely not. You thought I would? That's funny. <laughs> well, I should have. I should have. But that's okay. I won't waste that. I promise I'll use it. I will. I'll use it. We might could use it on the lid even. Right? Because the sides of the lid are not as long as the bottom of the box side. So, it's not a, it's not a waste. I'm not going to waste it. We're not wasting that. We're using that. All right, here we go. Wrong box bottom. Thought something looked funny. There we go. That's better. All right. And that's just right. And I don't even need all of that because we're right here and I don't want to lay it over. So we'll trim that when we get there. I, I'm totally going to ask Vistaprint if I can just buy these boxes. I just need the boxes, y'all. Can you imagine all the things we could make with these? I really wanted to hinge the side, but because it's a lift off, it wouldn't do it. But... I studied it yesterday and I know how I can do it. I just need more boxes. So I'm going to search for some. I might be able to find some on one of my wholesalers. I'm sure somebody has them. Somebody has them. I'll find them. And that way, if you want to make a box like this, we will have what you want in the studio.
fun times, great adventures. These will make amazing back to school teacher gifts. Listen, you start those teachers off with everything you can think of to gift them. Your child might be amazingly awesome. Not everybody's child is. And if you can start the year bribing your teacher, you do that. You do just that. All right, now, in order to ensure that I trim this close enough, there we go. I'm just gonna do that and cut that section. Oh, that'll be a nice little seam right there. And we didn't lose a thing. I could probably even trim it just a hair more. There we go. And we're gonna leave it alone. Leave it alone, it's just right. We're not cutting bangs, right Becky? We're just cutting paper. But I love you. We're not cutting our bangs. Not with rusty scissors or any other kind. Although rusty scissor haircuts make your hair look amazingly 1970s. They do. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, the bottom of, oh, that looks so good. I like that. Um, so which one do we want on top? Which one do we want inside? I'm going with the green inside. No, going with the green on top, purple's on the inside. So let me lay this down on the bottom of the box and let's mark our edges where we need to trim it. I wanna to trim to this other side. I don't wanna trim any of that off. Although I love the shading on both sides, it is stunning. Here we go. All right, that should be sufficient. Let's gently trim this out. So if you have Vistaprint boxes, Becky, I know you have some. I want yours. I want all your boxes. Or if you know someone who owns a business and gets Vistaprint business cards, do whatever you have to do to get those cards out of their hot little hands because you want them for this project. We're gonna put our Rethunk Gunk Decoupage Medium on the inside of the bottom of the box. A nice, good coat, not too thick, not too thin. Um, P.S., you don't have to use a heat gun or anything else once you finish decoupaging this. You, you just don't. Rethunk Gunk doesn't work that way. You can. The heat gun does get the wrinkles out. It does help. But you don't have to dry it like that. I've got too much on the side. There we go. That should do the job. You do, I didn't even spray that. You do, however, want to put another coat over the top. This seals it and keeps it in place. And that went in with no wrinkles, without any water. I love this rice paper decoupage. I've worked with all kinds of different papers, but I absolutely love this decoupage, central decoupage paper. 
The designs are beautiful, rich colors, and it's so easy to work with, so easy. I love that. Boom, that's done. Um, I have my iron on for a reason, and that is I'm going to iron down the sides, smooth them, make sure there's no air bubbles, gently and easily. I don't wanna mar my paper. I did on the end. But I don't want air bubbles either. I don't wanna burn the paper, although I'm just gonna suggest that might look pretty dang cool. But we're not trying to cause a fire up in here either. So I would just as soon use my glazes. Let's do that. Let's use glaze if we want to age something. Let's not burn it. Let's not burn it. Ta-da! That's gorgeous. Let's throw some hearts and laughy faces and thumbs up for this beautiful bottom of the box. Now let's make the top just as beautiful. Throw some of those hearts out, y'all, because I love this. Aren't those beautiful? And again, I can totally see a picture frame shadow boxed with some hangers to put your jewelry on, to hang your necklaces and your earrings from. Let's do one of those tomorrow. Do you want to? I think so. I totally think so. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do with one sheet. Let's see how much we can cover with one sheet. So there's our bottom. Well, that's our top, really. And wait, wait for it. We need that little fold over. Let's not forget our little fold over. There we go. Um, let's come back in just a little bit. Too much fold over on one end, not enough on the other. There we go. There we go. All right. Good morning if you're just joining me. Thank you. We are still working on upcycled, recycled paper products. This this is our recycled business card boxes. These are great. I absolutely love these boxes that my business cards come in. I just ordered more, so I have more boxes coming. There we go. And we'll trim out that extra little piece when we get there. So let's put our decoupage on here. You know, I should have been doing one of these with the brown paper. How come nobody stopped me? Y'all were just waiting to see what kind of nonsense I was doing, right? This kind, this kind of nonsense. Sounds like a jet's going over the building. Did y'all hear that? I'll find another little box, another little trinket box, because I'm sure I have one. And tomorrow we'll do it differently. We'll do one more and we'll do it with our recycled paper products. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this back edge right here. I gotta trim that just a little bit more. There we go. So that'll fold down in there just right. Okay, now we have the end and we need to decoupage the whole top. 
So let's get that. Let's get that done so we can lay that down across that top edge. There we go. All right, let's tip that up, tip it over, let, make sure you kind of hold the paper tight, a little taut right there at the end, because you don't want wrinkles, you don't want bubbles, you want to make sure it's just right. Now, let's do the end of the box. We'll get to that side. We're getting there. My head's in the way. Sorry. I'll move. Let's get that sticker off. That's just in the way. Good application of your gunk. Smooth the paper up and over. Nice. Oh, nice crisp edges. No bubbles, no wrinkles. Now, to do this side, we're going to have to trim this out, which is just fine. I'm going to try to minimize the amount of paper I'm using this time so that we have an easier surface to slide the paper over when we put the lid on, right? We don't want it too tight when we take the lid off and put the lid on. All right, now we're gonna trim these corners right here, right? I think so. think so. Yeah, I didn't really have enough to roll over, but I'll fix that when we get there. And then we'll just trim this off. We'll use, we'll use the confetti pieces for something else. There we go. All right. Not quite enough to go over the inside edge, but we'll fix that. We'll embellish it with something else. If I don't have enough of the paper to do that, we'll use something else to do it. There we go. Nice, good application, not too thick, just enough. Roll it on over. Squeeze that extra off. Smooth that down. Let's trim this off. Boom. So pretty. All right, and then we just have one more edge to do and we'll fix our inside edges. Iron it. Just gently, not too hot not too long. Keep your fingers off the iron, it'll hurt. There you go. Tonight, this evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, please feel invited to join us on our other business page, My Journey with Tremont. If you're not familiar, this will be a great time to get familiar. Trenant are the, Trenant is the company and health supplements is what I'm taking. If you're interested in the benefits of a product where you can be a little healthier every day, 
without chemicals. I kind of like that part. I'm really big on no chemicals. Cokes, really don't drink them. Every now and again, not gonna lie, every now and again, a treat. I, I used to love the taste of them and they used to not be so chemicalized. They are now, so I really don't drink them. I want flavor in my water, you know, I do. So I have a product for that. Days that I'm not really focused, I have a product for that. I painted my nails because I can. I have a product for that. Join us at 8 p.m. on My Journey featuring Trenant. If you want an invitation to the page, let me know. I'll be glad to send you the invitation with the information. If you're not sure what it's all about, this is the time to check it out. I promise you don't have to buy anything just to get good information. And if you stop by the store, it is entirely possible that I have a sample for you. Here, I do. Can you believe the air conditioning just turned off? That's crazy. It's been too hot for the air not to be on constantly. Thank God for the grace of a little break in the electric bill, right? Because this is a big electric bill, y'all. All right. I will address the other side. Let me make sure this is in good. I've got this extra little piece right there. It just wants to be part. Let it be part. Just let it be part. There we go. It's in. And we'll iron this side as well. I've been doing a lot of ironing this week. Not one piece of clothing has gotten ironed. Good morning, Jamie. Not one. But lots of paper product. Now, then, we have a top. We have a bottom. Let's get this on here before we go today. And I am, I am going to spritz this. Let me get my water bottle real quick. Still working on an extra piece of furniture because I do that. I do furniture. Yeah. You wouldn't know it this week, but it's okay. I also do smalls, and it is a lot of fun. And in this insanity that we are currently living, it is actually is an amazing stress relief. If you would like to come in and relieve a little stress, fellowship, project, create something beautiful, we are going to do our handcrafted, recycled packing paper journals tomorrow evening, Friday evening, from 5.30 to 7.30. Also, we will do the very same on Saturday morning from 10 a.m. until 12. So grab your coffee and your breakfast Saturday morning, come on in, and let's play a little game of Relax and create. No politics in the house. None at all. Fellowship is what we're going to do. Positive vibes only. Only. 
The object is to escape the insanity. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30 and Saturday from noon till, from 10 till noon. Isn't that beautiful? And can you just see, once it's dry, let me open this up. Can you just see the bling around it? I may even go back and get some lacy lace. Oh, I have the green lace right here. I do. <gasps> so pretty. Yes. The green, the green wins. Doesn't mean we can't use the blue because we can take the blue right across that center right there. Oh yeah. I love it. We can tip that green right around the top edge. I think we'll do it. So I'll be here in the studio for a little while longer this morning working on our sweet little boxes right side up. And if you would like to create with us, we have some seats left. You can come in and work on a beautiful and fun travel journal, guest book, sketchbook, whatever you would like to embellish your upcycled paper book with that we have in the studio, you just come on and we'll do it. I'm going to put some of this beadwork on my faux butterfly. I think so. She needs a beaded body. I'm Diane Pruitt. I am in the studio at Two Girls Treasure right here in Florence, South Carolina creating things that you can create too. A little bit more. There we go. Thanks so much for being here this morning. I appreciate you so very much. And I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you right back here tomorrow morning for our Friday edition of Studio Sessions. Thanks for being here today. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye now.